Now, considering that this channel has largely turned into a plethora of information on the prehistoric, not that it will necessarily always be so. However, I thought it would be prudent to give you a little explanation of how we got from 2.5 million years ago to 2,000 years ago, or thereabouts. And once again, for tradition's sake, we will be using the absolute treat that is my whiteboard to be demonstrating these timelines. So let's begin. Sorry, it's night time now. What can we do? So we're gonna have to break this down into categories as humans are best at doing. Are you ready to be confused? I sure hope so. I'm in the dark and we're gonna have to simply accept that. So we start off with prehistory. Prehistory, ancient history, and history. I am gonna neaten this up, don't you worry. So this is what we're focusing on right now. And this lasted from between 2.5 million years ago to about 2000 years ago. Now, for the sake of our argument, history and prehistory are gonna overlap somewhat when it gets past the Neolithic. There are obviously very varying dates for different parts of the world for when they stopped having their kind of prehistory. Like, for example, in Japan, they were living as hunter-gatherers till about 2,000 years ago. However, you know, across much of Europe, that kind of stopped around the Neolithic. However, we will get to that. Now, in typical Yards fashion, on the whiteboard, we are gonna be doing some magnification of timescales. So, we've got our main chunk here prehistory now to fully explain this we're gonna have our three disproportionate divisions here paleolithic the biggest chunk of time this is from when humanity free homo sapiens began to evolve until the mesolithic star car times now this is especially confusing because the mesolithic really started at various different stages around the world between about 20 to 12 thousand years ago depending on where you happen to be situated at the time now this is a bit where it gets a bit fruity because we have no particular dates for when these events happened when i say particular i mean clear cut depending on where you were in the world at any one time after between 20,000 to 12,000 years ago you may well find yourself in the mesolithic the middle stone age Oh, Jesus. The period of time when people were beginning their civilizations, they were starting to farm, and distinct cultures were beginning to be seen across the world. Now, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough to say when there is a definition between these two. However, we're gonna say, for British purpose sakes, the Mesolithic ended around 4,100 BC. And in we enter a new golden age, you guessed it, the new stone age, the Neolithic. Now, we've got farming, we've got settling, we've got still stone tools, but more complex stone tools. We've got Stonehenge, we've got lots of stuff going on in the Neolithic. We've got huge migrations, megaliths, all sorts. It's a very exciting time, but we do not have metal. And this is why one might refer to it as still the stone age. Now this went on to reign till about 2500 BC in British terms once again. Now you have to understand that there are further subdivisions. These two, although they go in tandem with the line of, of categorization as Paleolithic, this was such a big chunk of time that it has many further categorizations. And for this we're using the green. So as with any good time period, we've got a lower, which means the oldest. We've got a middle and we have got an upper otherwise known as the youngest. Now, owing to the archaeology, we can say the Lower Paleolithic takes up the biggest chunk here. About 2.5... MYO. 2. 300,000 years ago. Now, the Middle Paleolithic is where we come in. About 300,000 years ago to 30,000 years ago. Now, this is owing to the archaeology Post 30,000 years ago, obviously we've got no Neanderthals and it is primarily us on the earth. This period, we have the Neanderthals and us and we have a good amount of archaeology and because we are selfish, we have to give our pretty much entire existence a whole new categorization. The rest of this pretty much comprises the whole rest of humanity. Now finally, although I know I said I would be going on to talk about prehistoric timelines. Within archaeology, we generally count pre-2000 years ago, so anything BC, as basically prehistoric. 
So following on from the Neolithic, I hope you're still with me. I hope you're still with me. We've got this kind of interim period and it kind of ebbs and flows in different places, but we've got a short copper age. This one kind of gets ignored because it didn't last for too long because shortly after we've got the Bronze Age. For simplicity's sake, we'll say about 4.5 thousand years ago to 3.000 thousand years. Okay. Now this kind of inevitably led, oh Christ, to the Bronze Age, which lasted to, between, depending on where you are, about 1.2 to 800, between these two, is when it ended. Then, of course, the Iron Age. And from here on, this went well into about 500 AD, depending on where you were. However, the Romans were about, so you don't really have to worry about metal or being tribal anymore because, you know, they'll make bloody anything that you want for you. Unless you're not part of the empire, of course, then. No, that is a little bit somewhat inaccurate, but you know, my, my camera's running out of battery. So that was a quick roundup. I hope that wasn't too confusing, but yeah, yeah. Please let me know if that was incredibly difficult to watch because it probably was. I really apologize. I actually really apologize. This camera's got awful battery life. So I blame it on that. I blame it on that. Thanks. I'll come back with a quite interesting video, maybe next week or the week after that. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.